So it's full time, Manchester City 5, Wolves 1. Frustrating evening at the Etihad for Wolves. But <sighs> it's hard. Look, it's the, towards the end of the season for Wolves, our season is pretty much done as we know. Uh, but you still expect a level of performance. And I think sort of the referee decision towards the start of the game sort of set the tone for Wolves, which we'll get into now. Uh, team lineup will be on the screen now if you're watching on the YouTube. Saar in goal, Totti Gomez, Kilman, and sort of Samedo as a back three. Uh, Eight Norris starting on the right with Hugo Bueno on the left. Bubakar, Lamina, and Jao Gomez in the middle. Um, and Huang and Mateus Cunha as the front two today. And, and like I sort of alluded to earlier, against Manchester City, you can't really afford to make any mistakes or errors. And against them in the home leg, although on paper it looked like City dominated a lot of the ball and so on, it was almost an immaculate performance from Wolves and we, we took the chances well and we stopped City from, from doing what they can do. Whereas today it was almost the polar opposite of that, where you give you give City that little bit of space or you make the tiniest of errors and they will take advantage of that. And that's what we saw today, really. Uh, the penalty for the opening goal, I think it's extremely harsh on Ryan Eight Nori. Eyes are completely on the ball. Uh, Vardiol gets there first and sort of it's just almost a coming together. In my opinion, it's almost as if Vardiol runs into Eight Nori as such. Um, and I think it's the, the reaction from the Man City players that ultimately gives that penalty. Craig Pawson shakes his head at first, then they get the, get the reaction. And in his head, he's thinking, well, if I give this and if I'm wrong, VAR will overturn it. And again, it's one of those where the VAR is always going to side with the referee. I fully expect if that was down the other end of the pitch for Wolves, that wouldn't have got given. So that was a little bit frustrating. That, Like I said, that almost set the tone for the game, really. Um, Haaland makes no mistake uh, from the spot. And that was his first of four goals uh, in the end uh, this evening. Got a hat-trick by half-time. The second one, now, I posted on social media. And uh, uh, to be fair, I've had a few people jump on me for this, which I, uh, which I do appreciate. I think, personally, Samedo could do a little bit more to stop this goal. Uh, basically, Cunha loses the ball. I think today he was... Look, Cunha's probably my favourite Wolves player at the moment with his ability on the ball and the way he can uh, drive us forward. Um, but today there was at times where I just think he held onto the ball for a little bit too long and he lost the ball here. Ball comes in and saw Samedo's running back. He's a good few yards away from Haaland. The leap from Haaland's unbelievable and he heads it back across goal past Sar. That's, for me, Samedo... <sighs> I'm not saying that he should win the header, but he should at least contest it a little bit better than what he did, in my honest opinion. I think he's had a great season, Nelson Samedo, but that's his biggest weakness so far, uh, just in general, the, the sort of defending back post headers. Whereas Doc, is that's probably a strength of his compared to Samedo. Um, so I, I was a little bit frustrated by that, but there were a lot of people that had replied to me, which you know I fully appreciate because it's a game of opinions. Uh, people saying, you know, he's not even going to, there's no, no way you can pin the blame on Samedo on that, which, I, you know, I, I, again, I fully appreciate. And then they get the penalty right on half time. This one, to be fair, I think is a penalty. Haaland's quite clever with how he does it. He knows Samedo is right behind him, sort of tries to just shove his, you know, position his body so he's right behind Samedo and, and doesn't give Samedo any chance of get, getting a touch on the ball. And, and he wins that penalty and again puts it into the back of the net. So frustrating first half. Um, and there, you know, you know the game is pretty much done and over. But it was nice for us to sort of react as such. We saw Jean-Luc the Belgarde come on at half time, which was nice to see him back. We've been missing for a long time. And really the first time we get the ball on the on the wing, great ball into the area. I think Edison has got to do better as a goalkeeper. You know, far too easy and, and Huang can and put it into the empty net. And I'm thinking there, hold on a minute, you know, if we could capitalise on these city mistakes here, grab another goal in the next five or ten minutes to get it to three two, we could have a game on our hands here and Wolves they, what did they say? They say you're most vulnerable after you've scored. And uh, City did exactly that. Ball from Foden towards Haaland. I think his touch isn't fantastic. Kilman probably needs to get a bit tighter to Haaland. But still a fantastic finish. We've seen it a couple of times this season where Kilman positions his body okay. But it's almost these fantastic strikers are you, will use Kilman to bend and, and his body to bend the ball round. And it sort of hides, you know, makes it difficult for Saar to see the shot until quite late on. And it's a great finish from Haaland. And, you know, that capped off his performance. Four goals. Unbelievable performance from him, really. And um, then Alvarez comes on. I think, it's, again, he's far too easy for Wolves. I think the, big, the biggest issue is that Wolves, obviously, and Gary O'Neill's quite... Um, what's the right word for it? it? Basically, he wants to stick to the back five. And if you want to stick to the back five of only two fit centre-halves, it's a bit frustrating. I think, personally, if bueno, Santi Bueno is fit for the bench, 
he should possibly maybe risk him to, to start. Um, he obviously didn't think the Doc and Samedo experiment worked out too well, or maybe thought this eight Nori Samedo experiment w would work a little bit better on the right hand side. But yeah, I just don't think it worked quite well. But like I said right at the start of the video, you can't give City, you can't, there's no room for errors against Manchester City because they will punish you. And in that form right now, that is a team that wants to win the title and got the mentality of title winners. And unfortunately, Wolves caught them on what was a very, very good day for Manchester City. So we can't dwell on it too much. I think it was uh, just one of those games for Wolves, to be completely honest. it's a, a, I don't necessarily think we were on the beach because we played some half-decent stuff at times. But yeah, just just definitely one to forget. And we move on onwards to uh, Crystal Palace next weekend. Guys, if you caught the game today, let me know your thoughts. If you want to get involved in the fans' react as well, uh, that will drop tomorrow morning. Drop me a message as well on, on the socials. Either on my personal one, at Dave as a party, or at Talking Walls. I should catch it sometime tonight. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and all the best, guys. I'll catch you next time.